Hi girls! I want you to know that I hate seeing myself on camera, but I'm doing this for you guys because have, we haven't been able to meet for youth in a few weeks. Um, Scott and I really miss meeting with you, but we're here if you need anything. Please feel free to reach out or text or call. Um, one topic that I want to talk about today that I've talked to a lot of you girls about over the years is struggle with anxiety. It's an issue that I've struggled with myself as well. It's so easy to let anxious thoughts take over our mind. And before we know it, we're overcome with anxiety and we don't even know how to get these anxious thoughts out of our heads. One Christian author and teacher who has helped me with this topic is Jenny Allen. She has a podcast called Made for This and a new book out called Get Out of Your Head. She also has a study guide on anxious thoughts that I'm going to go with, through with you all today. I will put a link in the comments for the study guide if you want to download it yourself and walk through it. So grab a pen and paper and be ready to follow along. When anxious thoughts start to control our minds, it's like we forget there is a God who is enough for us. He will give us what we need today and tomorrow and in our future, even if our worst nightmares are to come true. But we have a choice. We can choose to trust God and believe that He will give us hope in every circumstance, or we can choose to let our minds go to a dark place where anxiety rules. In Philippians, Paul gives us advice on overcoming our anxious thoughts. He says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Now let's look at one of these replacement thoughts that Paul talks about. He says whatever is true to think about such things. Many times our minds wander to things that may not ever even really even happen. We forget that God is in control and we're not. It's hard to give up that control sometimes. But the good news is that we can change our minds and replace these untrue thoughts with His truth from the Bible. We can pull the thoughts from our heads and steal all of their power by replacing them with what is true. God doesn't promise us that we won't have some of our fears, worst fears come true. But even if they do, God remains our hope and can give us a way out of our spiraling anxiety. So the thing I want you guys to remember is I have a choice to surrender my fears to God. So now here's where your pen and paper are going to come in. Step number one is we are going to do a mind map. Get everything in your brain out on paper, big or small. Draw a big circle in the center of your paper and write the feeling you're experiencing most right now in the center. Then draw lines and more circles around it with everything in your brain until you can't think of anything else. So take time right now and do that. Draw a big circle and just start drawing everything that you're thinking about, all the feelings in your head. You can even pause the video right now so you can take time to complete it. Okay, now step two. We're going to do a thought assessment. On the next page, take one of your anxious thoughts from your mind map and write it down. What is the thought? Now diagnose it. Is it true? Now take it a step further. What does God say about this thought? You can do this with scripture or with trusted people from our church, or I can help you out with that. Then you have a choice. Will you believe God or believe the lie? So take a few minutes right now and do that. There's a chart listed on the screen. You can pause it and take time and write about it right now. You can walk through this exercise as many times as you need. Maybe it'd be helpful if you walk through it every day. We can change the way that we think with the help of Jesus Christ, but it does take work on your part. I'm happy to talk through any of this with you and pray for you as you work to change your thoughts. I'm working to change my thoughts alongside you. I know it's not fun right now to be stuck at home, but I pray that you can have some fun times with your family and use this time to look at some things in your life that you want to change. I can't wait to meet again with you all in a few weeks. I'm going to close this with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you that you promise that you will never leave us or forsake us. And God, right now, I pray for these girls who are listening. I pray that you help them just to take their thoughts and to give them to you. Take their anxious thoughts away, God, and just replace them with the truth. 
I thank you that you give us your Holy Spirit and that with your power, we can replace these lies with your truth. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.